Good morning, uh, Cantina Dwellers. This is Stephanie, your host, Bar Manager. Please remember, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the su subscribe button. Please hit the bell for more content. Please hit the like and share away here. Today's video is about Brian Young and his attacks, uh, his bizarre whining on Twitter and uh, his, his so-called values. Uh, he has values, people. Get ready. Here we go. Good morning, cantina dwellers, uh, scoundrels, uh, gunfighters, basic, uh, you know, people who hang out and do things that are below the radar. <laughs> we know who you are. Um, anyway, uh, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, Brian Young, uh, he's been, uh, all right, first off, he put out the, those rules of celebration. Then he whines that people are, are basically laugh, mocking him and, you know, bitch slapping him around uh, the internet for putting that out there. You know, uh, Ichibaka did a blog on it. Uh, the tweets are dripping with soy. Uh, if you're a guy, make sure your testosterone levels are exceeding because, you know, it might cause you to grow uh, breasts. If you read this, I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> so you say there, uh, the, the one tweet that he said was, uh, it's so, I'm going to paraphrase, basically he's saying that uh, he, he's really, he's whining that people are upset at him for wanting to celebrate Star Wars at Star Wars Celebration. You gotta remember, this guy is about as discerning of quality and what Star Wars is about as my dog is about eating his vomit, okay? I mean, that's about as discerning as Brian Young is. And um, for him to sit there and bitch about People being angry at him because a he he's obviously nervous about what's going to happen at celebration. You know, not re remembering that's you, that's always the guys the people on his side. Can we remember Matt Fantastic uh, putting uh, Jeremy from the quartering in a headlock in Ohio and beating the crap out of him and then running away like a pussy? All right, Matt Fantastic is a gay activist, okay? The people that Brian Young supports, all right? I don't think I'll ever see any of the Geeks and Gamers guys, any of the, the Phantom Menace do anything like that. It's not to say that we wouldn't, we often dream about it, but you know, we're grown ups, we're adults. We don't, we don't do shit like that. But there's, uh, you know, Brian Young whining like a like a like a thumb sucking baby about oh you know being cautious and we're here to support what we love not not destroy what we hate or something like that anyway um so anyway so he's you know kind of making uh bitchy comments about the people he blocked being pissed off because we can't s tell him on twitter He's a freaking idiot, okay? And he is an idiot. He's ignorant. He doesn't know shit about Star Wars. I'll bet the guy couldn't read past the, uh, If you read any of the Star Wars novels, they're meant for like third grade reading level. Now think about the novels that were written before the EU. Uh, and of course, I'll talk a little bit about Chuck Wendig's little whining bitch boy, uh, stuff that went on uh, this week too about Tolkien. Uh, we'll talk about Tolkien and all the rest of that stuff, okay? Um, these guys, these people are ignorant, stupid, not very well educated, uh, you know, and yet they think they know about Star Wars. They love Star Wars. If you love something, you don't want to change it. You know, darling, I love you, I now change doesn't work. It never has. Usually, 
it fucks everything up. Okay? This is what ha this is what's happened since the SJWs got a hold of Star Wars. Now we've got one of the biggest, most disgusting parasites of all of them, Brian Young, whining and then bitching at the people he blocked because we can't tell him he's full of shit. Because he doesn't want to hear it. He needs all of his, his so-called values. That was my favorite thing. He's got a value system. And I'll put that, that blog is actually the one that Itchy posted that I'm going to put on there. Value system? The value system of a guy who goes into an underage sex chat, a gay sex chat, no less, with a bunch of uh, creepy girls who are jailbait, probably. And he has a value system. Now look, I know Brian Young couldn't get past, can I buy you a drink at a bar? I mean, look at the guy, okay? I know that uh, big, tall, ruggedly handsome, gorgeous men like Harrison Ford, Billy D. Williams, uh, Mark Hamill, uh, the, you know, alphas, you know, the kinds of guys that women really like, uh, Brad Pitt, and the rest of them. He's a little too pretty for me, but you know what I'm saying? That kind of guy probably intimidate the shit out of him. So he's one of those people that sports any emasculation of actual manly men. Virtue signals with a diversity hugging, uh, uh, inclusive freak show he is. So the leftist of uh, Miss Sanders bitches will actually give him the time of day. Uh, this guy is looks like he's no more than like five seven. He's overweight. He's got a punchy soft face. He looks like he might drink too much. Um, you know, he's just grotesque. And he goes in underage sex chats. So he's obviously a pervert who likes young girls. Okay. And yet, <clears throat> of course, all the slags, all the Raylo slags and the SJWs were basically, you know, telling him after that all happened, Kyle Lux chat, that he hadn't been invited. He had been invited. One. B. They were upset that he was in there. You know, maybe some of these people have actually have common sense. It's like, girls, if you want a guy, don't date a guy like that. Don't date a guy who screams about his values and his and virtue signals because he's likely a misogynist. And, and that was my favorite thing. Basically, and one of the other tweets that he posted, basically Young was calling the people who were calling him out for the, uh, you know, little, uh, little pussy that he is, uh, misogynists. Okay, so he's a woman? Ah, but wait, you can't use pronouns with him. Gender pronouns are bad. He can't tell if he's a man, a woman, or an it. Go look at his bio. And yet this guy's telling all of us who routinely sends what's left of his flying monkey brigade to attack people who hate The Last Jedi. Anyway, I needed to talk about that. Uh, and yet he goes into underage sex chats. He chases little girls, underage girls. Um, you know, he's just a fucking phony. He's a phony. The guy is a, is a phone, is phony. Just like the rest of the guys out there, like Straight Saunders, Jason Ward, Steel Saunders, Jason Ward, uh, Pablo Hidalgo, and the rest of them. You know, they're misogynists. They're, they're uh, vile, uh, you know, you know, bigoted. Uh, you know, hardcore, non-liberal, uh, left-wing Victorians is what they are. Um, and, and that's what I'm going to call them, left-wing, hardcore left-wing Victorians. And we need to fix what they broke, okay? Which is why, Brian, the more you scream, the more you yell, the more you cry like a little girl, uh, little man, the more we're going to scream boycott 
and the more we're going to make sure that we set fire to everything that you and yours did to Star Wars. Because I don't care anymore. All right? You aren't going to win this. All right? You're not going to win this. And if you and, and your girlfriend, that, that pig, get girl diva, and the rest of those slobs want to make your own diversity-filled gay space opera, start your own movie company and do it. Okay, you hardcore leftist Victorian. This is Steph. I'll see you around the galaxy. I'll see you around the cantina. Please remember to tip your Wookiee bartender 20%. And remember, don't start anything in the bar because the Wookiee bouncers break stuff and it's expensive to replace. I'll see you around. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Please hit the uh, uh, subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Please hit the bell uh, for more, so you know when I upload more content. Hit that like button. And uh, remember uh, to share away here and share away for love of Star Wars. And I will see you around the cantina. I'll see you around the galaxy. And there'll be another video up later today about Chuck Wendig's freak out over J.R.R. Tolkien.